As you work with modifiers, you may encounter a case where you need to get a value to toggle on and off from the same input. In this scene, for example, I want to take the keyboard modifier, and every time I press a key, I want to activate this quantize deformer. But I want to do so in a way that every time I press it, it holds that new value, and so it stays on until I press that value again, and then it comes away again. A toggle, if you will. And this is where the accumulator is really useful. So I'm going to add it to my scene. I'm going to disconnect the condition modifier from the smooth envelope and add the accumulator in between. And now I just need to make a couple changes to the accumulator. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set it to positive value delta. This basically says only look at the positive value, take the whole value, don't look at it over time, and only look at the change between the previous value and the current value it's got. It's got. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set the wrap mode. This basically says when you get to this max value, what are you going to do? Are you going to ignore it? clamp to it or wrap around. And because we want it to toggle, so go on and off, we want to make sure that it's set to wrap. And lastly, the max value itself. Um, if it's set to one, then as soon as the condition modifier is activated, it will just reset itself. So we need to make sure it's got enough space to actually activate and then deactivate again. So I'm going to set its max value to two. And that's it. That's all we need to do. As I hit play now and I activate, you can see it now toggles on and off as easily and as quickly as I like.